everyone, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. So today I'm gonna be walking you guys through a whole day of eating with me. So I am currently almost out of my first trimester. Tomorrow, Thursday, I enter my second trimester. So I do have gestational diabetes. I found out about this really early on. I do take insulin at night. So it's definitely been a challenge to figure out things I can eat, things I can't eat, certain things that spike my blood sugar, certain things that don't. And surprisingly enough, stress and worry and all of that anxiety raises your blood sugar. You will see that in my lunch portion. So if you are watching this and you're currently stressed out, just take a deep breath with me and it's all gonna be okay, you guys. It's, everything's gonna be okay. Whatever you are dealing with right now, I promise you it is going to be okay. And today's video is a special video because I'm actually teaming up with my friend Meredith here on YouTube. So she is up in the Pacific Northwest and she is currently expecting her first baby. Her little boy is due to come in the next few months. So if you guys, you guys enjoy my couponing content, you're definitely gonna love Meredith because she has a lot of really practical budgeting videos and she also is not afraid to share her faith on her channel as well. And I just admire that from her so much and she's just the sweetest girl I've come across in a long, long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave her video as well as her channel linked below for you guys to all to go and check out. I want you guys to go ahead and comment a pineapple emoji if you are coming to her channel from mine. And if you're coming from Meredith's channel to mine, hi, my name is Gina Schweppe. I am a mom of three, currently cooking one more. So I will be a mama of four come February, holy moly. <laughs> and I do a lot of budgeting, couponing, and different lifestyle content. So I would love for you guys to stick around, consider clicking that red subscribe button. And now let's just go ahead and hop into the food. So every morning when I wake up, I have to take my morning blood sugar. What got me into trouble was my fasting blood sugars. They were too high and that's what got me on insulin. So I have to go to bed promptly by 10 p.m. and I have to be up by 5 a.m. to eat again. And luckily this number was really good. We are under 94 and that's what we want. So every morning I have a cup of coffee with a little bit of sugar-free creamer, a heck of good keto bar, and a stick of string cheese. So for my first snack of the day, I'm opting for some plain Greek yogurt. So this is from Open Nature. It's our Albertsons brand. And this has 100 calories in it. But what I look at is how many carbohydrates are in it. So there are 6 grams of carbohydrates, 18 grams of protein. So with my snack, I have to pair a carb with a protein and this is a really good snack and the ingredients are very low um but the thing with plain yogurt is i don't like the taste so i will add in a little bit of sugar-free syrup to it to just sweeten it up a little bit so then i'm also going to add on some of the lolly's cookie clusters these are my absolute favorite and they have a new flavor out it's german chocolate so here there are three grams of carbohydrates, so this is really good for me. So pairing my yogurt with the Lolly's cookie cluster for a snack is a great, great snack. And this definitely helps my like sweet cravings and my chocolate cravings. So you get, let's see, 28 grams for three grams of carbohydrates. So can't wait for this. So I actually have a discount code below if you guys want to save a 10% on the Lolly's cookie clusters. You guys, I cannot recommend this granola anymore. If you guys are, you know, following a low sugar lifestyle, low carb lifestyle, keto lifestyle, or if you're, um, if you have gestational diabetes like me, this is a great, great treat option. All right, so for my lunch, I have been having egg sandwiches is what I've been doing. So I use four eggs to get a really good amount of protein. And then I drizzle mustard, add some shredded cheese in two slices of bread. And then I do about half a cucumber with avocado ranch dressing. And on the back of the package of bread, it is 19 grams of carbohydrates, so I would times that by two. Now this may seem very high in carbohydrates, but I can have 45 to 60 grams per um, lunch. So when you factor in the eggs, which basically has no carbohydrates, 
and two tablespoons of the dressing, the cucumber, and then when you factor in the cheese as well, there's not a whole lot of carbohydrates in the cheese. So that is how I am able to kind of stretch it and have a really good source of bread for lunch. So I told you guys I was stressed out today and I was stressed out. So this lunch normally doesn't give me a high reading, but today I clocked in at 155 and I am supposed to be under 129. So this was a high read for me. So for my snack, I just did some salami and a granola bar. Guys, so for my dinner, I am only having um, flour, uh, corn tortillas for my carb source because my blood sugar was high after my lunch, so I only want to have the corn tortillas. But I have some ground turkey underneath here, and then I have some fresh spinach. I also have tomatoes, cucumber, no. I also have tomatoes, red onions, and some cheese on top. And this is what my dinner is going to be. Normally, I'll pair it with like an apple, but I just don't think that the sugar is going to do well for me um, because I'm so stressed out today. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and pass on any type of fruit or any other added sugar. And we're just going to call this dinner. So can't wait to eat. And then another tip too, if you guys do not have sour cream, um, a really nice alternative is just to go ahead and use plain Greek yogurt. So if you want that sour cream and you don't have any, because I don't have any sour cream, um, this would be a good item to go ahead and put on top. Actually, I think I'm going to make a little bit. So what I'm going to do is add in some of the Fiesta Lime by Mrs. Dash. I'm going to add this into my sour cream or not sour cream. I'm going to add this into my Greek yogurt and then it'll kind of be like a taco seasoned sour cream. Go ahead and just mix this up. And then if you have any like lime or lemon, that could be a good option too. Let me just make sure this isn't expired. August 19th. Looks a little clumpy. I'm going to get a new one. When in doubt, don't eat it. Now this is going to be delicious. And I love taco night, especially on a really hot summer day. Like this just looks so refreshing to me. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I'm going to go ahead and leave Meredith's channel link below. Remember to go and check out her channel and see what she is eating in her day of eating while she is pregnant. I think she is currently in her third trimester, I believe. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day with whatever it is you're doing. Remember to click that red subscribe button on your way out and I will talk to you all later. Bye guys.